Millions of people have a page on Facebook, even the dead. Now a local murder victim has a page too. Our news partner, the Providence Journal, discovered it's the hope of finding a killer more than 20 years later. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live with more details. Mike and Susan, that Facebook page has linked police to hundreds of people who knew Kathy Perry. Many of them have been able to provide information that's been helpful to the investigation. One lead even led to a new person of interest. A homicide scene nearly three decades old. In 1986, 20-year-old Kathy Perry was found beaten to death in an industrial area in Warwick. Her abandoned car was miles away from her body. Her killer was never caught and her case went cold. Her family was left searching for answers. And I know they've asked themselves whether or not it's somebody they knew. Was it somebody that they could know, somebody that they still have contact with? Sergeant Fred Pierce reopened Perry's case six years ago and says he's hit several dead ends. But when Pierce created a Facebook page devoted to Kathy Perry's homicide, new information started pouring in. Because of Facebook, I was pretty much able to find just about everybody that I needed to talk to. One lead in particular may be the break Sergeant Pierce has been waiting for. If it turns out that this new lead is uh, leads us to some type of conviction or to actually identify the person that's responsible, then Facebook solved this case. Sergeant Pierce says the new person of interest in this case may also be linked to the unsolved homicide of Rhonda Lee Travers in 1987. Police are asking anyone with any information on either case to come forward. For a link to that Facebook page where you can do so, just go to our website, WPRI.com. Reporting live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.